My name is Arturo Miramontes. I'm one of the graphic design and animation instructors here at Digital Media Academy. I'm also a freelance artist and illustrator. Photoshop is a versatile tool that can help speed up our artistic process in photo editing to creating original designs and illustrations. When using Photoshop to create custom designs, one way to efficiently color is to use the quick selection tools to fill, assign, and paint in color fast. To show you how to do this, I will be using a layers option called Locked Pixels. Locking pixels will allow you to make quick edits or additions to your piece and maintain all color changes and paint strokes within a shape. All right, so to get started, we're gonna go ahead and lock our drawing down, just so we don't accidentally ruin it. And we're gonna make a new layer on top of that for the color. Let's go ahead and label that color just to stay organized. And what we need is something to go over our drawing to select it. And we need a quick selection tool. We're gonna to go over to the left and we have a couple options. We have quick selection. The W is the keyboard shortcut for that and lasso tool. L is the keyboard shortcut for that. Now we're going to use the lasso tool because the quick selection tool grabs a little bit more than I need and it's not following my lines uh, precisely so I'm going to hit control D on my keyboard or command D to deselect and then I'm going to hit V on my keyboard to go back to the selection tool or the arrow tool just so I don't accidentally cause a mess here. It's a good habit to get into. If you hit V, it quits any tool that you're using, just so you don't accidentally um, over-select something, which can happen. So back up to Lasso Tool, or L. We're going to click on the bottom one, Magnetic Lasso Tool. I like to use this one the most for uh, drawings because it can actually go over my lines much more precisely than the other Lasso Tools. I'm going to pick a place to start. I'm going to start at the bottom of my helmet here in the corner. I'm going to click and I'm just gonna drag. And I'm just dragging right now, I'm not clicking until I get to the top here and then I'm gonna click. So to fill this guy, the selection has been made. You'll notice there's some blinking dotted line around my helmet or kinda looks like marching ants. That is a selection, complete selection. We're gonna hit G on our keyboard or you can click on the paint bucket tool and we're gonna fill our shape and as you'll see here it has covered up my drawing so what we're gonna do to fix that is we're gonna go over to our layers options right here where it says normal where my arrows kind of hovering we're gonna click the drop down menu go to multiply and that's gonna allow us to see the drawing underneath so command D to get rid of the selection last thing we want to do is we want to go up to lock click on the checkerboard kind of icon right here. That is the locked pixels icon. A white lock has appeared now on our color layer and that means we have locked pixels set up. So I'm going to go ahead and grab red, some kind of a color so you can easily see what this does. I've got my brush tool here and I'm going to just drag across the screen and you'll see some red lines appear on my helmet, but nothing is going outside of my helmet. So this is the awesomeness and beauty of locked pixels. We can keep everything inside of our drawing, inside of our shape, and color within, and not worry about anything seeping out or worrying about keeping very, very tight edges. We can keep it all inside of our shapes using locked pixels. Pretty cool. If I wanna keep going with my drawing and I wanna to add to this, I can actually, click on my lock and drag it to the trash can, grab the lasso tool, and I'll just continue on going over my drawing. So I got the entire armor here, I've got the shoulder pads. It's going over my helmet, but that's okay, because we're gonna use the same color. So I'm gonna grab that color, I'm gonna go I on my keyboard, that's the eyedropper tool, that's gonna let us sample a color I'm grabbing the same blue that the helmet has. Hit G to get the key, uh, the uh, paint bucket, and fill. And you can keep on coloring your image this way, um, adding shadows, adding extra details, keeping everything with inside of your shapes, and not worrying about it going outside. 
So this is a very fun and quick way to fill color to any of your next projects. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you had fun and learned something cool. Go ahead and try this out on your next project.